All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, I'm going to be completing the Merchant Special Voyage, which is searching for the cargo ships. I always recommend you put the flag up and buy the voyage. All right, voted. And now we check where the destination is. So it's originated from Golden Sun's outpost and we go to Daggertooth. I mark it on a map, marked it, you just go through the beeline and search for seagulls, as in the wreckages. Alright, time to... Along this beeline we need to find clues in order to find the wreckage of the indefigible at this time. Alright, so clues can be found at the wreckages which are marked by seagulls. I see seagulls right there, these should be the first ones and away we go right at them. Alright, we're at the site of the first wreckage. The first wreckage should contain the first clue where the ship went from this point on and I will just jump. The clue is usually in this battle as in the first clue. So we get the first clue. We're having a... Yeah, yeah with Cedric along the road, they'll always be stories. So I just okay, so we go to North Star Sea Post from here. And I would recommend you be sure to collect all of the loot and look around for the key for the captain's quarters and I will show you how I look around for the key. I usually dive and look from below to see if there is any singular object floating somewhere along the water. Right. There is no singular object floating. And I will just boon the loot back on the ship and go to North Star Sea Post. Alright, we are at North Star Sea Post and we're gonna look for the clue and the key. Usually in sea posts, the clue is given by the Hunter Alliance. As in, we're gonna ask. Seric now that we're tracking down a cargo shipment and once you hit all the way till the end she will give you the parchment so that storm really knocked us off course now we're passing to the runner's isle okay so to rum runner isle we go but first we're gonna look around for the key I don't see any key here, I'm, I'm just searching the planks because it often bugs into the planks. No key here, no key here, let me check if this guy has the key. Nope, there is no key here. Alright, away we go. Alright, we are at Runner Isle and I'm gonna get the sail up and jump off the ship in order to find the shipments all right i found them we get the clue finally some real excitement a skeleton ship between us and our destination too late to change course so we'll just have to fight so the key must be here somewhere let's search for the key Oh, right there. The key is right there. Look how... Okay, I'll, I'll just hide my lantern. Look how well it's hidden. You can't really see it. You need to come here and just see it. Like, if it didn't pop up on my screen, I wouldn't have seen it. Alright, let's pick up the key and chart a course to their final destination. And the wreckage of the ship should be somewhere near along the B line at Dagger Tooth. 
Oh, actually, I forgot to mention that if you don't find the key and you want to come back to the loot that you found earlier, they are all marked on the map as you can already see. And now we are searching for the last part of our journey and that is the wreckage of the ship. And now we are at the location of the wreckage of the ship. You just grab the key and jump. In order to complete this voyage completely, you gotta unlock the vault of the captain and find the manifest which is located near a skeleton somewhere in the ship. The way I do this is usually unlocking the vault and start searching for the skeleton with the manifest as quickly as possible because underwater you need to be fast because your breath will run out and your health will go down. Alright, we found the skeleton with the manifest. We found the manifest, yes, but now it is time to empty the captain's quarters. Alright, time to empty the captain's quarters. Actually, uh, good loot, I see a lot of silk, this will be a profitable quest. Alright, once you pull in all of it on deck, you should hit level 5 of the emissary, which will give you the sweet gold bonus that you want. And now, once you collected all of the loot, and I usually stack them here on the bows for an easier drop off, it is time to sell. We're gonna start with the manifest first, because we need to cash it in. I wanna claim the MC request as well, and let's start unloading. Alright, it is time to sell again. Quick note, why am I turning right after I press F? It's because I have fast pickup enabled. And once you are done selling your loot, which will be worth around 40 to 50k gold, it is now your choice to do whatever you want. You can lower your emissary down and put it back up again and repeat the process in order to get your commendations going or you can just start selling commodities at the highest price. And on that note, I will thank you so very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, happy searching.